Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We're doing part three of the best of beauty from 2023. And today we are talking about blushers, blushers. We're talking about blush, bronzer, and highlighter. I have already done a best of beauty foundation video and a best of beauty primers, concealers, color correctors, and powders. Let's talk about the best blushes, bronzers, and highlights that I tried in 2023. Now, some of these could be brand new on the market, just released in 2023, or they were product that was like older, but I discovered it and absolutely loved it and I couldn't put it down. Let's start with blush. Let's start with blush. I have two cream blushes and actually both of these were never talked about in the beauty space that I saw. I don't think anybody ever talked about them, which I'm really shocked to think about even now. And the first one would have to be this cute little baby got blush from Essence Cosmetics. This is like $4 and it is so good. It doesn't really actually come with like a super lot of product, but this is a very creamy formula, very easy to build, and it doesn't texturize like at all when you put it on. When you layer it on top of powder, like it layers really nicely. It doesn't strip the makeup at all, so it doesn't play with the foundation. If you put it over a powder product, it doesn't play with that either. It's actually really creamy, really easy to use, and the shade that I have is Peaches and Cream, so it is like that peach color, and it is so stunning and such a beautiful formulation super super creamy very easy to work with and this was one of my top cream blushes of 2023 and actually I wasn't really into a lot of blushes in 2023 but when I was reaching for a cream blush it was usually this one or it was it was the Juvia's Place new cream blush which this is another one that nobody really talked about I saw a Dolly Mama Beauty doing a get ready with me and chatting about creators and friends, I believe it was. And she tried one of the Juvia's Place liquid blushes, this one, and she put it on and she's like, oh, that's pigmented. And I'm like, yeah, girl, I know. A little bit of this goes forever. Like you can dot like the tiniest little dot and you get pigment for days. It is insane how pigmented this is. Like this is just a dot on my hand. And if I actually go in and I blend this out with one of my blush brushes that I use, like it is just so incredibly pigmented and it literally will leave your cheeks looking like you have been flushed for years. It's really easy to blend out. It's kind of, my, my hand is a little bit dry, so please pardon that. But it is super pigmented, super creamy, super easy to blend out. You can go overboard with this product. It is so easy to go overboard with this. Typically, when I use a like liquid blush product, like the Rare Beauty blushes, I'm like one dot, two dot, three dot, and then I go in and I blend, and it's not super pigmented. I do that with this, and I look like my face is exploded with blush. And it really makes me wonder why people haven't really talked about the quality of that more because it is so good. The shade that I have is called Peach Rose, and it is such a pretty pink, like true pink color. And I just absolutely love that shade. Actually, I foresee this being like my Valentine's Day shade for 2024. So I have one that's kind of like a hybrid blush product, and it is from Tresloose Beauty. This is not new by any means, but this was like my favorite, one of my favorites during the summer. This is their Ready to Bounce Cream Blush. This is a very beautiful, highly pigmented cream blush. It blends so beautifully on the skin. I would literally just take either a beauty blender or my cream blush brush that I like to use, stipple it in there a little bit, and then pounce it on my face, and I was good to go. Like, it was just absolutely stunning and so beautiful. The shade I have is called Out the Door, and I do think this could very possibly be on sale right now because I think she's rebranding. And this is such a good blush. It doesn't accentuate any kind of like weird texture going on on my face. It blends really nicely with powder product, with foundation, with concealer. Like it looks so good on my face. I can't get enough of that one. So we technically had three, three cream blushes and now we have three powder blushes, six blushes in all. And the first one is an oldie, but a goodie. And it is the Georgia blush from Benefit Cosmetics. This is actually kind of a hybrid product, if you ask me. 
It comes in that like OG box packaging. I can't stand the packaging, but the formula is actually really beautiful. And it actually is kind of, it's peachy and it smells really pretty and it looks beautiful on the skin. I would wear this blush specifically during those times when I didn't want a highlighter because this is very luminescent and it finishes so nicely on the cheeks. So I would just take my blush brush if I didn't want highlight and I would just lightly dust this on my face and it blushes but it also gives me that glow that highlight does at the same time and I truly have felt like this is one of those products that does it and then because it's more of a peach formula it also warms up my face quite a bit I actually have worn that one quite a bit recently I'm wearing that one today and I just kind of packed it on again but lately if I want to look a little bit more tan a little bit more sun-kissed that is the blush I am reaching for then another blush that is almost like a two-in-one, it looks kind of like a highlight, but looks kind of like a blush. The Bare Minerals Bronzer, this is in the shade Kiss of Pink, which again is that like peachy pink shade. And this one's actually a little bit darker than the Georgia blush, but this one also builds up really, really nicely on the skin and it looks airbrushed. It plays really nicely if you put like a cream product underneath and then you put this over it and it can be a blush topper. It can be used on its own. And it is such a beautiful product. Kiss of Pink, I think, is like my go-to. I love these peachy blushes. They're just so pretty and they look so flattering, especially in the summertime because they give almost like a sun-kissed glow. Now we have a blush that was released in 2024, like right at the beginning of 2024 when the pasty pale, almost like lilac blush was in style, like that pasty pale pink. And we have the Juvia's Place volume four blush duo we have like a poppy pink here and that very light lavender shade that was used like during cool tone makeup i mean dior has a shade that's very similar to this i love the light pink i think it is so stunning i think it looks so nice on somebody who is cool toned like me and this shade is just oh my gosh it's so pigmented and it is so poppy and bright and pink but you can actually like pair the two together and kind of do like a layer effect with them too and they diffuse nicely on the face that was like my favorite blush at the beginning of 2023. It was so. Alrighty, so we have a couple of cream bronzers here that I tried in 2023 and a couple of powder bronzers that have just been favorites for a while now. We're gonna talk about the Baby Got Bronze from Essence. This one has a very similar formulation as the blush where it is very easy to use, very easy to blend out, very easy to manipulate on your face, and it doesn't over accentuate. It's not hard in any way. It's very easy to use. And again, it doesn't come with a lot of product, but you pay like $4 for it. I have the medium shade, which is Moon Dust shade 20. This one's a cool undertone, and I specifically use this for a cream contour on my face before I put powder bronzer on. I will either take my blush brush and dip into it like this, or I will directly dry it onto my face. So I do love that product. That was like my go-to cream bronzer, go-to cream contour of 2023. Now I had two cream bronzers that were my absolute favorite in 2023. And I couldn't put either one of these down and they were very high. Like one was actually really highly raved about by quite a, quite a few creators and the other one nobody talked about. So the one that everybody raved about in 2023 was the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. I have the medium shade. It's their Ultra Cream Bronzer for $8. And the packaging on this sucks. Like you can never get it open, but the product inside is super creamy, super blendable. And the medium shade tends to lean a little bit more cool toned as well, but this is definitely more of a bronzy shade for me. It dries down so beautifully and it plays so nicely with other product on my face. For $8, like this is one of the best cream bronzers that I tried in 2023 and I absolutely love it. Especially like during those summer months when I want cream product, like it was the go-to for me. And then the other go-to cream bronzer that I, I tried and I just... I'm a little bit obsessed with this bronzer. I heard that this was a dupe for the NARS one, that it was a dupe for the Chanel bronzer, the cream one, and that is the Makeup Academy Creamy Bronzer. It's the bronzed cream bronzer. I have the shade Butterscotch, so this one is definitely more of a warm tone for me, but I typically will take my beauty blender and just dab right into it and then bronze my entire face. This blends out like butter. Like, it's so pretty. 
on the face. I can't get enough of this one specifically. And it really just gives me that beautiful sun-kissed glow. And then it really, it's just such a beautiful bronzer in general. I think it retails for like 10 pounds or $10 or something like that when you do like the conversion, but it's from Makeup Academy. I swear a lot of their product is very underrated. The two bronzers, powder bronzers that I just kept reaching for, couldn't go away from, could not leave behind in the dust. We had the Makeup Academy bronzed matte bronzing powder. I'm actually wearing this one today and this is in the shade Solar number 110. I like the, like the the packaging is decent and it's it's not bad at all. It's really easy to get into and open. And this shade is a little bit more warm leaning for me. I'm actually wearing it today. And on those days when I want something summery and warm toned, I reach for this bronzer a lot. Like if you guys can't see, there is quite a bit of use with this bronzer. And this bronzer is so stunning. So stunning on the face very easy to blend out. It gives me like this beautiful sun-kissed look and I just can't get enough of how it makes my skin look and feel. Very airbrushed, lightweight, very easy to use. And then we have this, the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder from Milani. This I've raved about for a couple years now. I love the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder from Milani. I actually have the shade 02 Sunkiss. Let's see if it lets me open it. That's the only other thing. Like this one is also hard to open as well, but this is more of a cool tone bronzer. It is very easy to use. It's very silky and matte, and it just gives me that beautiful sun-kissed contour look that I love. And I just, I can't get enough of this one. I absolutely love this one as well. I think that was one of the top bronzers of 2023. And forgot about this one. It's at, in the cream collection, I should say. Obviously, I pulled it out for this video. But this bronzer could not stop using the Treads Loose Beauty Hybrid Putty Bronzer. I have the shade Fair. This bronzer is so absolutely stunning because it is a little bit of a bronzy shade, but it's just enough of a cool tone that I can use it as a contour or a bronzer. It is a hybrid product. It feels um, like creamy, but when you actually put it on your skin, it dries to a powder finish and it just looks so natural on the skin. I used this so much that I'm actually almost like hitting pan in it. And I've used this with a beauty blender and with a brush in both ways works so well on my face. This was honestly like my go-to bronzer for like half of 2023 because I was just so obsessed with the formula, how it made my skin look. It was very airbrushed and flawless and very like bronzy toned on my skin. And it's just such a beautiful product. I couldn't get enough of this one. It's it's honestly, I think my favorite bronzer of 2023. I was so in love with it next to the Makeup Academy bronzer. Those were like my go-tos for like forever. Now I have three highlights that were the best of beauty from 2023. And two of these are brand new releases and one of them, I don't know when it was released. So let's talk about that one first. There's a lot of Makeup Academy in this video. Who wants to see a full face of Makeup Academy? Leave me a comment down below. Okay, the first one is the Makeup Academy Highlight Powder. This is in the shade Peach Diamond. I actually use this one a lot because it's almost like a duochrome where it's a pink shift to it as a highlight and this just looks so glass-like on this skin it doesn't over texturize anything and it really just lays so pretty on the skin and then depending on what you're pairing it with some lights it looks purple and in some lights it looks pink but it's definitely got like a a duochrome feature to it it's so pretty and so beautiful and this is again from Makeup Academy, which is a British brand. It's a lightweight powder that transforms your complexion with luminous shimmer, which is so true. It's so luminous, doesn't texturize. It's such a beautiful highlight. I just, I couldn't get enough of this one. For liquid highlights, I tried the new Juvia's Place liquid highlighter. And the shade that I have is called Starstruck. This is so pretty. Like it does not, like it does. One caveat is that it dries down a little bit fast if it's put over powder. I don't like, like if I set my face with powder and then I put my my cream highlight on, it doesn't necessarily pull the product off 
So it does play well in that sense, but it dries down a lot faster. So it's a little bit harder to manipulate. But if you put it down first, it actually blends out really, really well. And it's just a very subtle, beautiful, glistening highlight. And I absolutely have loved using this highlight, especially like just anytime. And I've used it as a cream eyeshadow before and it's so pretty. I took this one to Vegas with me and I couldn't get enough of how it looked on my skin. Just very like natural and luminescent. And this is another one of those products that was released in 2023, but nobody really talked about in 2023. And it's probably one of the best cream highlighters that we saw come out of 2023. It's just so good. Last but not least, we have the highlight that I am obsessed with and can't put down right now. I mean, I was obsessed with these other two, but this one I'm currently obsessed with. And I think it needs to be mentioned in the, this Best of Beauty 2023 video. It's the Rare Beauty Compact. I can't remember, it's called the Highlighter. And this is the shade Enlightened from Rare Beauty. I was wanting to buy this earlier in 2023, but it was constantly sold out, which told me that it was really, really good. And every single time I would go into the store, they would have the sample of it and I would swatch it and I would just be like, oh, it's so silky smooth. It's it's like a baked formula, but it's silky smooth and it's so pretty on the skin. I don't understand how they got it to work like this. I have no idea at all. And it's just such a beautiful formula. It doesn't accentuate it all. It looks blinding when you swatch it, but you can actually diffuse it out really nicely with a brush. And it just plays so nicely with makeup. It's so beautiful. I couldn't get enough of this highlight at all. I'm so glad I was finally able to at least get Enlightened, which is like the white shade. And then there's like a rose gold shade that I really, really, uh, like every time I go into Sephora, I'm a little bit obsessed with that one too. But I was at least able to get Enlightened. And that one from Rare Beauty is so pretty. I've actually been wearing it every single day since I tried it out on camera and since I purchased it. And it's one of my favorites. It's so pretty. There you have it, guys. The best of beauty in blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Definitely go check out my other two videos for the best of beauty and stay tuned for part four, which is the last part of the best of beauty for 2023. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and I hope I get to see you in my next video. Bye!